All right, hello everybody and welcome back to our, uh, I almost said African power, I was looking at the word Africa, to our forever golden achievement attempt here in EU4. We just took some land in Africa, so we've got that going for us. So honestly, now we kind of need to chill out. Um, we do not want to have enough people that are capable of joining a coalition to actually get one where France joins. Because that would be real rough for us. I, I don't think we... I mean, if it were just a 1v1 between us and our subjects in France and their subjects, I do believe we could win. But a coalition war? Definitely not. There's, there's no way in hell we win a coalition war against the entirety of Europe and Africa. Wait, what? France is at attacker against Sweden in the French Vinland colonial war. Wait, Vinland is a crown colony of Denmark. Denmark is a junior partner of Sweden. Okay. Gonna be honest. Didn't really see that one coming. Uh, <laughs> I, uh... I'm a, I'm a little, little surprised by that one. Just because I hadn't looked. I didn't see anything like that before. Um... So yeah, that, that kind of surprised me a little bit. Okay, we are going to unpause for a quick minute. Let's see. We have aggressive expansion with a bunch of Christians. And also with all of these nations down here that are fetishist. We, yes, yes. These are all fetishist nations, so technically don't know why I just hit W like a moron. We could um, attack somebody like the Mamluks or the Ottomans because they're Sunni and nobody else would really give a flying fuck. Um, the Mamluks are the ones who are actually ahead in this rivalry here. That being said, if we just go to military, army quality compositions, and maybe this will, maybe they'll just be here. Or killing that they're not. Okay, so if we just go to morale, okay, the Mamluks are here with 5.7. We have the same. Uh, amount of discipline we have better siege ability they have better defensiveness we have better professionalism they have better traditions so our armies are better than the Mamluckian army so we could easily do that we actually have the highest morale in the world by not a super considerable margin but you know it's still better than everybody else in the world so, we got that going for us. Do we even have a morale advisor hired right now? No, we have a discipline advisor. So, <laughs> if we were to swap out for, say, a morale of armies guy, we would be doing even better. So, we could technically beat... I don't know how we ended up here, but we could theoretically beat the Mamluckian army. We do also have a force limit above theirs. We also have more fielded troops than them. But we also have subjects. They do not. I, <laughs> I had to look for a moment. They don't have any subjects. They just have some mediocre allies. Well, actually, Transoxiana is fairly sizable, but, you know, not very strong. So technically, or theoretically, we could beat the Mamluks in a war. 
But do I really give a damn? Well, I did say we need to build up our power base. And it would be a great way to do that. Out of curiosity, okay. We should actually just... We already do. Okay. Right, I just have so many... Colonial nations that it's going to take forever to get around to improving with my vassals. Okay. Wait, who the fuck are you? Where is this? Oh, right. 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 Um, it would cost three per month. We're making eight per month. I feel like that's mostly worth doing just to lower our number of subjects. So I'm going to go ahead and, and annex that vassal. Let's see here. Also, if we go in here, what are our... Okay, mostly loyal. Um, Spanish Louisiana is getting a little disloyal. I really need to fix my diplotech situation. So we need to up the number of Diplo points we're making. So we need to save up a bunch of money and upgrade our... our dude, which we actually probably should wait until this one dies to do that. How's our Diplo rep? Right, we're also... excuse me, um... excommunicated because France is the papal controller. So, wow, all right, what was I literally just saying I was saving up money for? I forgot. <laughs> what the fuck was it? I literally just said it. Right, upgrading our dude, but we're gonna wait until this guy dies, because he's old. Oh, he only has a 6% yearly death risk. I didn't realize that you could hover over them and see the death risk. Never mind, we're just going to up him now. I didn't realize the death risk was so low. 6% isn't really all that high. Okay, we now have a colony, or a province, a, an owned province, over here. So if we really wanted to, we could start conquering shit out here. So, now, we should send our free colonist to maybe fill out more of the Pacific Northwest? Or maybe California. Bolster California. We need to get a colonial nation formed up here in Cascadia. So we're going to do that. We're going to send them there. All right. On pause. We got busted spying in Portugal. That's incredibly unfortunate. We have three years till that war starts. Which actually makes me feel pretty good about having this army down here. I'm going to move this army back up 
to Iberia, though. And uh, this army, I'm going to split in half so that they're not suffering for ridiculous amounts of attrition for no reason. I just don't want to lose that manpower when I'm not actually using it. Alright, the Re Age of Reformation is about to end. Um, we could maybe get rid of some of this shit as soon as it ticks over. Right. It, I keep forgetting that I had that thing. Um, Tuscany? Yeah, no, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to state that up. I think I kind of want to... I mean, I want to state up the areas that are gold mines. So, like, I want this to be in a state. But I think I want the rest of it to be in... Um... Trade companies. I don't use trade companies very often. I feel like this would be a good time... To start using trade companies. Well, this is unfortunate. Let's move this half of the army over there and this half of the army uh, this direction into this province. Just so we're taking care of both of them at the same time. Wait a moment. Which one is actually going into... Okay, that one's taking on the 25 stack. Good. The one with the, uh, the leader. Oops. Perfect. And boom. I said boom a little early. Boom. Job done. We did it. Congratulations us. Okay. Now. Ooh. I don't actually have the ability to build this, or this, so I don't understand why at Diplotech 12, they're like, yeah, you can click those buttons. It doesn't make any sense. I <laughs> all right, now any and all events that give us Diplo points, we 100% have to take them. We gain a claim on France. Like, in the actual French mainland. Global trade spawned in London. But we now have it in Sevilla. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Um... Huh. We need, we need to up the development of gold provinces. The problem is, uh, I don't, I don't know where, wait, oh right, the French Vinland colonial war. Hopefully France doesn't take any of Colombia. Um, that, that would be kind of upsetting. France is winning that war. <clears throat> Sorry. Seeing Lithuania almost full occupied by France. Um, it, I mean, it just it, it just did something to me. I, I don't know. That was weird. Um, Ming is still in one piece and it's 1604. This is, this is odd. This is, this is very odd. I mean, technically, I could start conquering this shit. To build up my power base. We, <laughs> we could do that. That is that is an option. It's a route we could take. Toward building up our power base. Plus it would be spreading aggressive expansion all over the place. To multiple parts of the world. While we're still able to... You know what? I've just convinced myself. <laughs> 
I've just convinced myself that that's a good idea. I'm going to spy on Oirad. But of course, first things first, I'm going to need to steal maps so that I can see this area. So I'm going to spy on Oirat. I'm going to steal maps. Then I'm going to fabricate claims. Then I'm going to attack Oirat. Because why not? I see no reasoning as to why not. Um, Master of Mint. I mean, right now I have the ability to possibly get... This would give me points, though, that I desperately need. Ah, uh, fine, I'll take it. This guy does have an 8% chance of death. Okay. How much do I need? Oh, a lot of money to upgrade him again. He's also up to 8% at this point, so maybe we wait? Question mark? Sure, Poland, you can have a few hundred ducats, why not? Let's core up another province, another few provinces. Beautiful. Some cores are finishing. Where the fuck are these? Oh, Spanish La Plata peasants. My bad. Let's go take care of that. All right. We get another thing that we only get to have for 56 months. Oh, it's the only one left. <laughs> I, I didn't realize I had all of those unlocked. Okay, cool. Um, eventually I would actually really like to go to war with the Ottomans as well. You know, build up that power base again, like I was saying. Come in here, maybe snag some, some good provinces, you know. They don't have Kosovo anymore. Yes, they do. They have Kosovo. Uh, which is another gold mine that I would also like to maybe... Uh, uh, a mustache hair ended up in my mouth. Um, instead of, you know, connected to my face. So <laughs> Alright, you know what? We're just gonna build more... I can't build this. We're gonna build more... Build Ooh, I, I, I do want to build that though. And that one. Uh, we're gonna build these. Uh, eh. Ooh, maybe some forts. What does our income look like? We're only making 20 ducats a month. Um, mostly because we're only making six from gold. Because I'm a big fat dum-dum. And don't have my gold mines upgraded. Um... Okay, all of the forts that I own in Iberia are all level 4, so I'm... I think I'm content with my forts in Iberia. Um... Maybe I should put some forts. Like, maybe a fort here. I, I kind of want to colonize these, though. And then put one, like, right here. Although right here is probably a good idea. Yeah, all of these are the same um, terrain. So none of them are really going to be a better place than the rest. So I'm actually going to wait until I have enough money. And then I'm going to build a fort here. Just to make it a little bit more annoying for African nations to just, like, walk into my land, you know? So I'm just gonna build a fort right there. More specifically, West African nations. I just want to make it more annoying for them to, you know, come on up here. And less annoying for me fighting, because... Eventually, I'm going to have to fight. I'm going to have to fight Ethiopia here very soon, actually. Because 
our truce with Portugal is almost over. So I'm going to place this here. Um, I'm actually going to move this army over to Iberia as well. I'm going to yoink some Crownland. I'm going to take these ducats. Look at all this money we have, ladies and gents. Okay. We're almost... Boom. I now have a claim in on actual Portugal. Um, this is fine. I, I don't even care too much. Uh, okay, so that entire army has moved over. Who are they allied to again? England, Ethiopia, and Jene. So... Actually... How many troops does Ethiopia have? 22,000? Portugal has 60,000, but it looks like... Not here. <laughs> Just in case, I am going to move this army over here, though. Because I don't know for sure... Whether or not... <clears throat> they have... like They might have a large army parked on Lisboa. I, I don't know. I doubt it, but I don't know for sure. Um, right. Oirat. No, wait, we're, we're stealing maps for... Um... Hmm. This is intriguing. This is interesting. I'm interested to see how that pans out. I'm very interested to see how that pans out. Huh. Because Sweden is still full occupied. Well, that's really annoying. Um, yeah, we're not paying for it. Good. Good. Um, hmm. Hopefully, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to wait. Oh, shit. We don't have any interest at all. So I'm just going to go with the inflation reduction. Um, okay, our truce is almost up. Damn it. I want to move these guys up here, actually. Yeah, this makes sense. Wait, I just saw that they do, in fact, have an army in Lisboa. They have an army in Lisbon. Um, I'm actually going to pull back the guy who's improving with my subjects, because I need to declare this war the day that my truce ends. We do, we just need 
We need it. We need to kill them as quickly as possible. So our truce ends in June. So this next month tick, right now, boom. Cool. All right, we're going to declare this war for um, the conquest of Porto, because that's this province up here. It's one on the mainland, or on in Iberia, is what I should be saying. So we're going to go ahead and just confirm that. Oh, I should maybe swap these around as well. Put this guy here, put this guy here. Okay. Um, take the cannons off of this guy. Put them there. Take this guy. Shit. Okay, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Songhai should take care of that, honestly. Let's go ahead and just combine those up. All right. Oh, right, the New World. Spain, Portuguese Peru. We need this shit. Oh, right, and English stuff. Oh my god, I forgot about English stuff. Okay, it's fine. All of our colonial nations will go down and beat the living tar, just beat the tar out of everyone else's colonies here. We're going to go ahead and embrace the institution, which should have given us a new merchant. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we're going to lurk, lurk, look at the um, economic situation here with the, with the, you know, the, the dudes with the, the merchants. Words. Words are really hard, guys. <clears throat> Any users, we want to... We're already pulling out of Mexico into the direction that we want it to go. We're also pulling out of... Or increasing the amount that's being pulled out of Panama. Uh, we're already pulling from here and here. Let's see, we could pull from California to increase the amount that's headed into Mexico and thus increasing the amount that's moving out of Mexico and thus increase the amount that's moving out of the Caribbean and into Sevilla. We could do that, or we could try to do essentially the same thing with Lima, except that's one less step, which I believe actually makes it worse <laughs> oddly it's it, this this game is really weird all right i think i'm just going to increase my power here let's let's just put them here and see what happens let's see 6.98 ducats are currently coming out of there we're currently making 81.75 ducats in trade so let's just remember that Let's see, what is this? Form Indian Trade Company. Spain gets East India Trade Company until the end of the game, giving the following effects. Plus one merchant, plus five percent global trade power, and 300 ducats. I don't even have any Indian holdings. But sure. I'll take yet another merchant. I just got two merchants for the price of one, basically, so, <laughs> so that's fine. Um, it's actually kind of awesome. Maybe we put a dude here. And see what happens? I feel like that's a good idea. Let's do that. 
Can we move here? No, but we can loop around and come over here. Okay, and then, oops, I just smacked my microphone. I apologize, everybody. How many ships does England have? 84. Portugal has 67. Hopefully, they don't try anything super nefarious. Let's actually reinforce our buddies here. Never mind. I lied. We don't need to. Okay, they only have 16,000 troops parked here in, in Iberia. Okay, we will demand a monthly fee. Um, wow, really? We're just gonna make 14 ducats? Selling them the institution? We sure as shit are. Alright, boom, 84 ducats a month from trade, instead of the 81 we were making before. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Now, I don't actually know... Okay, this is all in Cascadia. So theoretically... Once... Let's see, we have one, two... Or one, two... Three done in Cascadia. So theoretically, when the other two finish, or when two more finish... This will become a colonial nation. So, we can start putting our colonists in other places. Like fleshing out Spanish La Plata, for instance. Which I think we should do. So let's go ahead and do that. We can also take tech, boom, diplotech. We're one of these years going to catch up on Diplotech. It's a thing that'll happen. You just you just wait. It's it's gonna be the greatest thing you've ever seen in your life, and you're gonna be like, "Whoa, that was really cool that they managed to do that. That was kind of awesome." And uh, yeah. Everybody's gonna be like, "Well, he's he's a cool, cool, cool dude. He's he's so good at at video games." Nobody's gonna ever say that. It's, uh, okay. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't realize I was over time. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, so much for watching. If you liked it, go in the thumbs up button. If you didn't, go in the thumbs down button. Nobody gives a flying fuck anyway. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody.